A financial gamble by Harris County Commissioners years ago is today costing you millions. And good evening, friends. I'm Dave Ward. And I'm Alona Carson in for Gina Gast. And this is being called the biggest financial loss in Harris County history. 13 Undercover reporter Brian Collister discovered it all, and he has the latest tonight. When you're driving any of Harris County's 120 miles of toll roads tomorrow, think about this. You're not just paying tolls, you're also paying off a bet. We all pay for the privilege of driving on Harris County toll roads, and it takes a financial toll. Now we've uncovered you're also paying a hidden fee. Everybody that's got a toll tag is paying for this. Everybody that's throwing a buck's worth of change, uh, you know, into a turnstile. Former Harris County Tax Assessor Paul Bettencourt says a risky financial deal approved years ago by county leaders at the time is costing you millions. We have literally lost our shirt on these deals. You're paying millions to Wall Street banks because in 2006, county commissioners took a gamble while refinancing nearly $200 million in bonds used to build toll roads. It was a complicated financial arrangement called a swap. It's a bad mistake, but it, it, was, a, it was a strategy that you know, didn't work. Essentially, commissioners made a bet that if interest rates go up, it could make the county money. But when the economy slowed in 2009, the interest rates dropped. Instead of saving money, the county had to pay more money. So far, $47 million. It's probably the largest loss of, any, uh, of anything that I even know of in Harris County's history. U of H professor Craig Perong is an expert in interest rate swaps. He points out we're not alone. Cities and counties all over the country have lost millions on similar swaps. It does appear that Harris County took on unnecessary risks in engaging in this transaction. It's in a hole, uh, and uh, there's no way of you know, essentially getting out of the hole without paying to get out of it. I think it was an okay deal at the time. Harris County's chief budget officer, Bill Jackson, was not in office back in 2006, but he defends the deal, saying it was simply an attempt to lock in a fixed interest rate at the time when rates were rising fast. The world's a different place after 2009, and... Uh, Again, we've learned a lot of lessons. That's what history helps us do. And in the future, certainly we would be very cautious about doing this. I personally won't recommend any in the future. Most county commissioners who put us in this hole are out of office now, except for two of them. County Commissioner Steve Raddick says he was simply following the advice of the county's financial consultants and was not made fully aware of the extent of the financial risk. It was a strategy that, you know, didn't work in that particular time. But I think, you know, we'll have strategies that do work. The only other current commissioner to vote for the deals, El Franco Lee. We were told he would not talk to us about why he voted for them, so we showed up at commissioner's court. We believed in him, obviously, because there was a unanimous vote on court at the time to do him, and the thinking at the time was, was to uh, address the financial issues of that time. Uh, they turned out to be looking back and it can be second-guessed in a whole lot of different ways, which is not a productive thing to do, but I stand behind the decision that was made. Commissioner Lee says we shouldn't second-guess his vote that cost you $47 million so far, so let's look into the future. Well, these bets will most likely continue to cost you millions more for years to come. That's because interest rates are expected to stay low for a very long time. You can read a full explanation of the swaps from the county's financial advisor on our website. Now, I need your help to uncover public corruption, fraud, and government waste. Got a tip? Call Collister at 13 Undercover. And I never reveal my sources.